My name is Andrew Kung. I'm the Director of Pediatric Hematology and Pediatric Oncology at Columbia University Medical Center. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia is the most common childhood cancer. Despite our best treatments, 10% of patients do relapse after treatment. The goals are not to identify new treatments necessarily, but to be able to identify the patients at risk for relapse and to tailor their treatments up front to try to prevent that from happening. Our focus over the last few years has been really the clinical implementation of sequencing of precision medicine. Many of the current efforts around sequencing are using archival material, sequencing hundreds of patients of samples, but unfortunately the information that is gained does not benefit any of those patients that contributed the samples. So what we've been doing is building a prospective precision medicine program where we're doing the sequencing as the patients present to our clinic. We're gaining the information, we're analyzing the data, and we're returning the results back to the clinicians within three to four weeks' time. And that's a time period that allows us to actually use the information to affect the treatment of the patient from which the sample arose. We are using the information that we get not only up front, but continually uh, reassessing the patient through the course of treatment to tailor a treatment plan that not only treats the cancer, but also cares for the child. And so our uh, conceptualization of personalized medicine in this case is not just about treating disease, but supporting the child and supporting the family through all stages of treatment.